Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking about how every gun class in Vigor, except bolt actions, have appropriate power scaling based on rarity. The main root of the problem is that there are only three bolt actions in the game, and comparative to its cost, the SS82 doesn't perform nearly as well as it should. There's a bit of a gap in the meta where people really want a reliable two-shot bolt action that is worth it to be constantly crafted. So let's talk about this subject. So right away, I want to say that this is kind of going to be a mix between a weapon suggestion and a buff suggestion video. Now, the issue that both of these solutions would solve isn't really that important in the grand scheme of the game. In fact, I would say it's pretty insignificant. But with either changes, I think it would create a completely new playstyle demographic within the community that would likely shake up the way an encounter plays because of the resulting weapon frequency changes in bolt action. Let me elaborate on this. So as of now, we only have three bolt action, the Mosin, the SS-82, and the Parker Hail. Now the thing is, as of now, hardly anyone uses them. And that's reasonable, because in a meta dominated by fully automatic rifles and high capacity magazines, you're not exactly at an advantage by bringing a bolt action that only holds five but honestly i think it's a little bit deeper than that and i do think something can be done to make them more relevant in the meta the mosin seems fine as is to me it's okay if this gun is pretty trash because quite frankly it takes 10 seconds to craft it and they're probably the most commonly spawned primary in weapon crates so for that i'd say the mosin is fine as is and there's not much that can really be done here maybe an accuracy increase but really i don't think it would even change that much as it's still the mosin and it serves its purpose as the starter heavy hitting and heavy stagger based rifle. The Parker Hail is also an understandable low frequency. I mean, it can one tap to the upper chest, so it's honestly a very fairly balanced gun, and I'd say the only thing preventing people from using it is the cost of it being gold. So for me, the only place where bolt actions leave a lot to be desired is between these two at the SS82. Now this is a complicated gun to talk about because it feels very inconsistent in both damage, bullet velocity, and accuracy. It shoots high in first person, it's third person, also isn't even as good as the Mosin's, and it fires 545 ammo, which has worse damage and might I also add is incapable of penetrating wood. So this gun that is blue, by the way, is pretty much inherently worse than the Mosin, which is gray, in every other way other than the fact that it has a scope. But even with that, its sights are misaligned, so whatever advantage you would have made up for in magnification is now pretty much fully nullified. And on top of that, because it has a scope, you'll get glint when aiming at people in third person. If I had to choose between taking a Mosin or an SS-82 into an encounter, I would take the Mosin 100% of the time. So this gun has literally no business being blue, and for having a full 20 minute craft time, it's really horrible. So you're probably thinking right now, well, how do you suggest we fix this? Well, the first step I would take would be to move the SS-82 down to green rarity. Right away, it would be more appropriate given its performance because it's just flat out not on par with other guns in the blue category. Other than that, it could probably use a buff to third person and it should go without saying that there needs to be some adjustments to its scope zeroing. With that, I'd be pretty fine with where it is. And as much as I would like to say to buff its damage and make it a more reliable two shot, it does shoot 545 and it's already doing drastically more damage per shot than the other guns using that caliber. Now of course we don't necessarily have to stick super closely to per caliber balancing, because if it did play like the AKs and it was a 4 shot, it would be so unimaginably bad, but I think it overall should be at least similar in velocity, and because of that, it doesn't feel right to buff it and make it comparable to 7.62x51 in terms of ballistic performance. So now, in my ideal world, we would have the Mosin and the Parker hail staying the same while the SS-82 receives minor buffs and drops to green rarity. So that leaves a fairly large void where there's no bolt actions in blue or purple. And mid-game precision sniping is pretty much reserved to the M21, a semi-auto gun that plays more like a DMR than a long-range sniper, as its bullet drop is kinda nuts. Even with that, I think the desire to fill this gap is being manifested in the player base even now, as with this season's weapon frequency, there's been some serious jumps in sniper usage, especially 
especially the M21. But I think most of you will understand what I mean when I say bolt actions are an absolute vibe. And there's still some serious room for a potential balancing profile that would fit a blue or purple bolt action. And this is what I meant when I said it's kind of a weapon suggestion video. In my book, there are only two options that make any sense, those being the Mosin mounted with a PSU scope and the Car 98 sniper variant. Both of these use existing calibers in game, and I think it would fit this mid-game sniper role very nicely and in a very lore-friendly way. Now, I should clarify here that I wouldn't want either of these to come with Season 11. Before we think about any completely new assets, they should definitely add back the freaking Remington 870 that's been teased for years now, literally. But regardless of that, Later down the line, I could totally see one or even both of these being added, but this is getting very long term because I doubt they would add both in the same season and honestly, I'd be kind of pissed if we say got the Mosin in season 12 and then the car in season 13. That'd just be kind of dumb as both would overlap, but looking way into the future, I think it would be ideal to have both. On the subject of balancing, these suggestions become even more perfect because the game already has such a massive difference between Mauser ammo and 7.62x54R in terms of damage and bullet drop off. Let's start by talking about the PSU Mosin, which would be blue in my opinion. Designed for long range shooting at a reasonable cost, it would be a 20 minute craft time with good bullet velocity, a new scope model, and of course consistent two shots to the chest at long range. The car would follow a similar ballistic pattern to the ZA, being a more close range design sniper with really heavy damage that tapers off over time. It would be a purple rifle that has the same scope as the G3SG, with really good bullet velocity, one shot in CQB, and that would eventually taper off to three or four shots at distance. I think both should have a pretty similar third person accuracy, but honestly it doesn't really matter because both should just be really accurate in third. So now let's talk about this like season 15 hypothetical, where the SS82 has been moved to green and both of these guns have been added at an appropriate pacing. Your bolt action lineup goes from what it is now, three guns where two of them are very weak and the other is too expensive to be relevant, to a five gun lineup in rarity order, where every one of them is a bolt action but each one feels unique in performance and appropriate for their cost. You'd have the normal white Mosin acting as the bare bones starter, the green SS82, which is just barely a level above it, having a slight advantage with the scope, but sacrificing ballistic performance in return. Then you'd have the PU Mosin, which is designed for taking out targets with extreme precision at long distances and a very consistent damage model, really scratching the itch of a stealth sniper playstyle. Then the Car 98 would act as the most versatile, which is capable of extending the effective range of your squad while also being absolutely lethal, playing aggressively and getting the most out of your one-shot chest potential. And then finally, the existing Parker Hale, with its more consistent one-shot capabilities at the cost of a bit more crafting time. To bring all of this back, I think if this hypothetical weapon balance becomes a reality, it would really support the existence of long range firefights. And all of these bolt actions would be some of the more used guns, taking some of that weapon frequency from the existing mid game sniper, the M21. Overall, promoting a greater weapon diversity and opening up the opportunity for more variable long range playstyles. Realistically, I don't expect any of this to happen though. And if it does, it would have to be developed over many, many seasons to not slow the progress of other potentially added guns. This isn't the most important issue, but I think it's at least worth talking about and maybe even worth taking the first steps towards with the coming updates, as I think it would be incredibly beneficial for the average encounters gameplay loop having more people use these classically iconic firearms. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this subject in the comments below because I'm really, really interested to know what other people's thoughts are on this. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.